hello guys welcome once again in this video I will show you how to create an excel file with your C sharp windows form application so there are many open source library to create uh, excel file with your C sharp application I'm going to use uh, excel library from google codes which is open source library and free to use so I will use that library to create an excel file and pass excel file uh, with my C sharp application so let's get started first of all go to your browser and type excel library in here and the first link you will find is from code.google.com slash this excel library so this is uh, the library from google codes just click this link and you will reach to the excel library home page in here go to the downloads and download the latest library it will be downloaded in the zip file which contains only one DLL file called excel library.dl so I have already downloaded and this is the file which we are looking for so just open your zip file and extract it wherever you want the folder of your choice I generally prefer my project folder to extract uh, the DLL file so I just extracted the file there okay so in the folder of my solution this is my excel, uh, excel library.dll file now I will go to my project and I have created a button here and changed its text as create excel file okay so when I click this button it should create an excel file for me second three thing is go to your solution explorer and select your project right click it and select add references and in here go to browser here and browse for the excel dot dll library so in my project folder I can already see this excel dot dll so if you don't see that excel dot dll just browse from here for that dll and just select it and press ok and this excel dot dll is already there in your references see okay now the code part once you have uh, taken a button and change its text just double click it and we reach to the code section of this button click event but before writing any code here I will just fix some imports these are the two imports, imports you need to add in order to use excel library so I will show you using excel library once you have added the dll in your resources this import is available dot it has four libraries binary file format binary drawing format spreadsheet and all so right now I have just imported these two libraries and if I need more libraries I will add them so just add these two libraries in your code wherever you have used using all these libraries now once you have done that then I reach to the code section of my button click event and in here I want to write a code so if you have noticed the excel library on its home page 
home page so here in the excel library home page you see an example code from them so i will just copy that uh, code from their whole code this is to create xls file so i will just copy this and i will paste this in this button click event which i have made so double click and paste it here but if you can see it's showing some error in this for each loop so i will delete this and for now i will delete this for loop also so i i have this code right now which i have copied from excel library website so this code will generate uh, an excel uh, excel file called new doc in your c folder so i will also change the file or folder for this excel file i want to generate this uh, excel file in my root folder or wherever my executable file is if you want you can provide the path of your choice so so if i go to my project and in bin in debug you can see there is no file called new doc in my folder or there is no excel file itself in my project folder but when i run the program then it will create a new doc excel file in that folder so let's try and run the program run it and then write create a excel file i will just click this button and i will check the folder see it's a, it has created this new doc file in my folder so i will open this file and see what it has created for me so microsoft excel uh, it shows some warning which i will say yes and it has generated this text for me in a first look it looks like that uh, the excel library has generated this uh, random text anywhere in this excel but when you see in the code i will just close this application first and when you see in the code uh, closely you will see excel uh, or the code which they have provided they have defined the uh, row and column number of the data so one should be generated at 0 comma 1 place okay this is short int and this is of short data type so 0 1 is at 1 comma 0 place one should appear so let's see in the excel file this is the zeroth row and this is first column 0 1 first column and zero row so it has created your one or it has inserted your one here okay so from this logic this 9997 time 9 this should be in the 1012 comma 0 place so let's see if it's really there or not so i will search for this 9 and you see 2 comma 0 okay so like that this decimal is uh, at 3 comma 
3.45 at 3.3 so let's see 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 so 3.45 so when you see the code closely it has logic behind this random text so now I will change uh, the place of uh, the printing of this text so if you see the code here they have provided how to insert integer how to insert short how to insert decimal number how to insert text and how to insert other variable date and time and so in this one code you can understand how can you insert different type of data types in the excel file so now let's let's try and change uh, this cell and column so i want every data on my zeroth row okay and i want every data on different column so one two three four five six and seven and now when i first of all i will just close this excel file no and i will run the program once again and i will click this create excel and now i once again go to that excel file and i will reopen it by using microsoft excel click ok the warning and you can see according to my given cells it has given me the desired data okay so in this way you can change the cell and you can insert uh, data into the excel cells in column and rows so generally it's uh, you cannot insert or you will not insert data in this form you have to use a loop if you want to insert a very big data so use for loop for that so i think what our code we have deleted here it will be used for that for loop and it will insert that data in the loop so i think you have understood the basic concept of this excel library with c sharp and i hope you have learned something new this time please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now